Alkazama Atlas, I have to check the larvae. Yeah, they have been in here since the 12th of September as L3s. And uh, now I have to have a quick check because I have a lot of boxes. Uh, 22 liters, the L should be 6 L3 larvas in here, so I can see what stage they're in or uh, if I have to do something also with the other boxes if I know a little bit better how they feel in here. All this chewed up material, this is for the work of the of the larvas and if you see here um, this is very typical. The mate already started making a hole in here here. The larva it's a very nice and beautiful uh, larva. Bigger than the other one here. And in the middle of this chewed up piece of wood they sit and it's pretty close to the picture we had just before in the last videos with Xylotrupus Gideon they also uh, chew themselves into this white rotten wood blocks and then they pupate inside here. Well let's see whether we find the same situation here if I if I have a look here you can see a larva, a very fat larva in the middle of this wood block here. So I will just take it out to show you that picture. Uh, so here is a wood block, but this is not as hard probably as the other ones. So probably they didn't go in here. Or they hold it up already. And uh, look what they did. They have eaten up all the inside material of the wood and just left the outer uh, skin of the of the log. So that's the work of rhinoceros beetles. They are the shredders uh, in this in the forest that shred all the white rotten material and afterwards those chavis flower beetles can come and eat up the rest of it. So now look here I have to try to take it out carefully just to show you the sheer size of this of this beetle to look at the other others are small compared to this one and it was living in the middle of this so I'm not here two Three. And now this, this one I want to show you in, in the middle of this wood piece here. So, I think, oh, I hope at least we find the right situation. So that's it. Now look, if we open it, you will see that only the outer part of the of the wood piece is untouched and all the rest is eaten up by this lava. Yeah. And here's the head. And here she wants to come out and bite me. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they can be pretty this box. So that they can finish their process of making a pupil chamber in here. Oh, this is, look, this is also a big one here. Well, there's a fat one too. And also, i leave this big chunks of wood for them. So they can finish their life cycle and becoming pupas 
And as we've seen already in earlier videos, they always tend to make their pupal chambers inside of wood box. Also here, look at this, I think here somewhere probably there's another larva underneath this. Yeah, look here it is. Yeah. Number four. So, and number five. Look how beautiful and big they are. So, I have to put all the material back to that box. And I can tell you what I do, because I wouldn't uh, put all five together in that box if not I knew that they, that they are shipped now to a friend who wants to uh, breach them. So I s tomorrow he will come to pick them up because it's cold now outside and it's dangerous uh, the transport of uh, lorry like that because they can uh, die because it's too cold outside. So that's the work of them. All chewed up material, but all survived. We found all of the lorry that we have placed into this box, and as you've seen also, they, they can eat a lot of material of this, of this uh, white rotten wood. That's it for a moment. We will see there are some other boxes, I leave them in there because it seems that they feel alright inside of these pieces of, of wood and then uh, I would say in two or three months around March or April we will come back and see whether we find some at all.